Um, this is just a quick demonstration of the software that comes with the DigiDim. And this is a little database software package that can be used either in the dental market or in the medical market for capturing images using just about any webcam or digital camera that you can imagine. Um, okay, I've just got it done here, so I'm just going to start it up. Call the DigiDim GP. So when you start it up, you'll notice that you just got to click and you can do a search for what existing records there are. So I'm just going to uh, add my own record. Three, five, uh, name uh, John Wayne Smith, uh, ID card 321, telephone number 1235, 1235. Uh, add. So we've got the record there. So to open the record, just double click on it, and I'm just going to minimize the screen and just going to put it there. So, um, right, so the first thing you can do is go and select the image source. Now you can see it comes up with a number of different webcams, uh, digital cameras, etc. installed on my system. So I'm just going to select the little digit dome, which is that USB 2800 video one device there, and click select. And what I'm going to do then is go and click the capture button. So this will bring up a live image of the actual device. And I'm just using it with the um, with a little epiluminescence or oil-based viewer. I'm just going to grab an image here. Um, it's a small, about a two millimeter little Nevi. Uh, and once you've got it focused, just leave the capture button. And you'll see it gets captured straight away to the screen. Uh, you can also change the settings of this. So, I'll bring this in here. Show you that you can change the brightness, the saturation. So, I'm just going to bring the saturation down a bit. Apply it. Okay. And capture that same image again. Um, and I may as well just capture another little image on my arm. Of course, I have a tiny millimeter little little Levi. Once I've got the focus, just click capture. And so you can also select obviously the output size to whatever you want. I'm just going to put it in 800 by 600 pixels at the moment. And you can close that when you're done. And then from here you can do a number of different things. Like if you say select, it will show you which ones you're selecting. So you can compare these images. And you can see, you can compare these images over time for differences in structure, etc. Um, cancel that. Uh, you can also save any image. So say you want to save it to your folder and drag it into your own document management or patient management system. Just save it as a JPEG to wherever you want on your hard disk. Uh, the other thing is you can print images and here you can set how you want to do it normal size or fill it to page or uh, whether you want it in the center or which ones you want to print which image etc so it's a great print driver um, and obviously when you're all done you can just click exit and so that has become part of the uh, of the records then so I'll just go into someone else's record and John Cooper exit and Chris Johnson, he hasn't got any yet. John Smith, uh, and the one we created, which was John Wayne Smith, and there are the records for that. So it's a very simple little database software package that's perfect for keeping track of images of patients over time. Uh, you can also go and rename the images. Uh, as you want them as well, just forgot to mention that. Uh, thank you very much for your time.